Good morning, you guys. Um, it's Monday, and today's actually uh, like a short kind of day for me because I'm actually headed to Rowena's Inn. This is a cute little like boutique hotel in Harrison Mills, and um, yeah, just having a little like staycation there with Joel. So I'm gonna spend as much time as I can working this morning, and then I've got a few calls before I'm headed off, and I haven't packed yet, so I'm gonna need to do that. But obviously, I need to get my coffee. I already have one of my calls this morning, so there's that. I also cut my hair short-ish again. It's not that short. I just went for a trim because I just couldn't deal with all the dead ends I kind of like collected over the last um, eight months. So I just trimmed off a lot of the dead ends and this is more of like an even cut now. Like I still have some shorter pieces, but I wanted to even out my layers. In the long run, I am looking to grow my hair back, but it's gonna be a process and I recognize that and I accept that um, because yeah, it's just never easy growing your hair back. So I just wanna make sure I do it in like the healthiest way possible. Joel's dad bought me some of this whole grain ciabatta. Says it tastes great toasted with kaya, so that is what I'm trying for breakfast today. All right, I'm like stressed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pack all of my toiletries because I don't need them anymore for the rest of the day. So I'll just show you quickly what I always, always bring uh, in my toiletry bag, aka. Um, these are the items that I, or like the skincare things that I use every single day. Um, this is also like what I use when I go to Joel's house, like what I bring. So I always pack it in my Herschel toiletries bag. This is by far the best toiletries bag I've ever used. The size of it is perfect. The shape is amazing. Um, yeah, it's just so sturdy. I've been using it for so long and it's still in such good condition. So, the first item is this CauseRx Propolis Synergy Toner. This is the toner that I've been using lately and I've really, really been liking it. This has honey extract in it, um, so it's a very moisturizing toner. Something else I've been trying lately is the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. This guy, um, it's supposed to, it's fermented green tea extract and it's supposed to provide antioxidants, antioxidant benefits and help to improve clarity, texture and elastic looking skin. So very much so needed. I feel like since I started to use this, my skin has definitely um, improved. I will say I have also been using a couple of other products, but I just, I feel like this is making a difference. I always have a The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I will never stop using this again. It's just, I feel like it's effective. I really do. Um, sunscreen, of course. I am going to bring my lactic acid. Um, actually, I'm debating whether I should. You know what, maybe I'll bring my new Yo Skin Health Complexion Renewal Pads. This has I believe glycolic acid in it. Um, so I'm gonna try this for a while instead. It was something that was recommended to me from my, um, from the like, I guess, laser skin clinic that I've been to recently. So I'm gonna try that out. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I feel like this is just such a good one for when it's cold outside. My skin drinks it up and I haven't had any issues with like breaking out with it yet. So I just continue to use that. The cleanser I'm using is this one by Maraud. It's literally almost out. So I'm debating if I should bring another one, but I'm only gone for a couple days. So I'm just gonna bring this Starface Space Wash. 
instead just because it's a little bit more full and yeah it's just a super interest or super simple one so i feel like my skin's not gonna have any issues with that versed um day dissolve cleansing balm i actually the cleansing balm that i've always used or have been using for a while this is actually my third tub of it this is the green pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm but i started to try out this burst one and for some reason i feel like this actually gets rid of my waterproof mascara better i'm not sure what it is but it yeah it just it just does so this is what i've been using as you can see i'm almost out of it i really enjoy it i know the price point is a lot better than the other one too. I still really like my pharmacy one. I'm gonna continue to use that after I'm finished this. But um, yeah, like this is one of the first PR items. Actually, no, that's not true. I've done a lot of PR items in the past that I've loved, but like I really like stuck with this and it has been amazing. Okay, for outfits, I saved a couple of inspo. I honestly, I'm so not prepared. But um, that's what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm probably going to be using two bags. So I'm going to use this little Monos suitcase. And then also, um, oh my god, I'm supposed to be more. So definitely bringing this coat. My new coat from Jane. Love that. Am I stressed out? I'm eating some lunch really quickly before I go and pick Joel up. It's very dangerous. Rowena's. This is our little cabin. So this is the front door and we can see the water from here. It's just so, so cute. And then on that side, if you guys can see that is the golf course. So if you are somebody who loves to play golf, I feel like this is the perfect little resort spot. And they're all individual little cabins. Like that's somebody else's cabin. There's another one there and there. So it's just super, super cute, but I thought I would give you guys a little cabin tour. So this is our little living space. Got a TV. This is the Heron cabin, so very on brand there. Um, our sofa, we've got this lovely chair. And then we have the kitchen and Joel eating the chips. Super cute, they even left us some wine, some desserts, and some water, of course. Lovely. And then the Heron cabin. So we've got our bedroom here. Quite a large bed, actually. It looks so comfy. It's our little dresser. They have air conditioning if we need it. Um, which we probably won't. It's super chilly now. And then this is our washroom. So we have soaker tub, shower, super high ceilings, heated floors, amazing, super cute and kind of like rustic luxe in a way. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I'm super, super excited to be here. Uh, it has been way too long that I've been away on a little like getaway. So this is a good moment. We have, oh, ow. Yeah, we have dinner at the clubhouse later, the clubhouse restaurant. I'm pretty excited about because I'm getting a little bit hungry already. Um, yeah, this is our little our little stay for tonight. We are actually staying. I feel I realized I didn't really even introduce this vlog <laughs> yet, but we're staying in three different accommodations over the next three days, um, all in the Fraser Valley, just to kind of experience this area, see what it's all about. I know that it's definitely not like my first thought to um, come to the Fraser Valley for like a getaway, but. Honestly, this place is stunning. I feel like in the summertime, this place would be even more magical. And um, yeah, they have like even bigger and nicer cabins here. So I'm very excited to kind of explore the grounds and check out uh, the area. They have eagle watching tours right now. And they said that during the mornings, they are pretty active. So maybe we'll get to see some eagles tomorrow before we go to the next destination. Um, but yeah, this is our accommodation for the night. I'm gonna get my laptop out and get some work done now, cause yeah. All right, it is 6 o'clock now. Very soon. So I am actually um, gonna get changed for dinner. I kind of wish I got some more photos of the bed before we like sleep on it tonight, but unfortunately it's just like kind of dark now to take any decent photos. Maybe if I... Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna get changed for dinner. Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's currently three degrees. It is quite chilly, but I have this outfit in mind that I think would be really cute. And the restaurant is pretty close by, so I'm going to try to execute it. And if I freeze to death, and I freeze to death, you know, it'll be worth it for the, for the look, hopefully. You know, also, do I want to go to this like quaint little restaurant looking super extra though? Is the other question. I didn't really think this through. So the look I thought I wanted to wear is this really cute turtleneck dress, zip up dress that I got from Jing. This is what it looks like. I just kept my little cropped up on underneath because I totally forgot to bring a bra. So that'll have to do. That's this. And then I was thinking of maybe wearing it with just like little stockings, but I feel like the stockings would be too, too um, cold. So I can, well not stockings, like little socks. Or I can do full on stockings, which I also brought, I believe. What do you guys think? This is kind of the look I was thinking about with this cute little dress and my coat. And then I would just put my stompy boots on. What do you guys think? Do you like it with the tights? I actually don't think it's that bad. I don't like it. Just change it and do Yeah. Someone want outside. Why would there be anything you can want outside? This is the full look. So, coat, little sweater dress with some tights because it's cold. Actually, I think it's quite cute. Yeah. This is, this is the look. 
and then I can get Joel to help me take a photo if I need to, but I also just, yeah. All right, off to dinner. I totally forgot to vlog. <laughs> First vlog ever. <laughs> I got their salmon and scallop, uh, scallop, salmon and clam chowder, and it's bomb, like really, really good. And then Joel got their ribs, and I got their beef stroganoff, which I don't think I've ever had stroganoff before, so we'll see how it goes. showered and feeling good after dinner so I thought I would do my little skincare routine just starting out with some toner and just lightly going over my face and then I have this Amo Pacific um, essence which has green tea extract and tons of other amazing antioxidants and benefits to really help clarify my skin. So I just like to pat that in with my fingers and my hands. Okay. And then what I've really been enjoying for quite some time now is the Ordinary Niacinamide. I've been using this for a couple years now and I honestly have repurchased so many of these so I'm super glad that they started making these like bigger bottles but same thing I just kind of work it into my skin I have a little pimple right now I forgot to bring pimple cream unfortunately but that's okay I'll let it do its own thing and then the last step of this super simple skincare routine is my moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which is always the one that I like to use around the winter time. I feel like my skin really just drinks it up. I'm gonna just work it into my skin. It is a chilly morning here, but look how stunning it is. I put on my little waterproof boots and my warm jacket, and I'm going to get some breakfast now. Definitely looking forward to some breakfast. This is a very relaxing place to wake up to. Also, our bed was amazing. It's like this king-size bed. It was so comfortable. I'm like so so happy here. But yeah, this is our this is our like morning view. It's by the lagoon. I think that's what they call this body of water. And then when you come in, there's like this little 
like entrance I guess and it's like between two trees so you're just driving you to drive your car through these two trees and it makes me feel like I'm entering like a little wonderland yeah let me flip the camera so I can show you guys what it looks like what the grounds look like so those are the two trees that I was just talking about and then as you can see we're like right on the water they also have a pool which obviously not in use right now this is their clubhouse it's this amazing little I don't know it's just like so pretty it's like this little cottage and I think that they host like events here like if you wanted to book a wedding here this is where it would be and then you're on the golf course of course that's the water there got a beautiful little fountain oh you see some people playing golf geez it's so cold how are you guys playing golf so this is more of that little clubhouse and um, I think the restaurant's actually just connected to it so if you see like this is the place and then there's that little I don't know if it's like a little walkway or something underneath there and then this is the restaurant but yeah look how stunning it is so cold I wish I got to stay here in the summer times I feel like this place in the summertime would be a dream but um yeah my nose is freezing and i'm just gonna show you guys the path to our little home it's my car here but this is like the path from the clubhouse and then on the far end there that is more golf course and then you just come to like a couple of cabins as you can see, we're like literally looking at the water. And then this is our lovely little cabin. We are walking back to our car now so that we can start leaving Sandpiper's Resort. Um, this place is really, really quite beautiful. Even on a gloomy, like almost getting close to winter, uh, like weather, it is still very, very, very pretty. And um, yeah, they have this like nice walking trail. Actually, this is a great time to come because they have the um, bald eagle viewing. It's apparently the world's largest winter bald eagle gathering site. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of them. Like, really, truly a lot of them. I was like, we got to that little, like, gazebo thing. And there was a woman with a giant camera, like, looking out at the water. So we're like, oh, must be there. Took a look and there's, like, one big bald eagle standing at the end of the water and then so we took some photos and went out and then I like turned around to look at the other side and there's literally like 10 just like in the tree <laughs> so yeah that was quite neat I don't think I've ever seen so many eagles all at once so <sighs> my arms are getting tired from holding this all right we are headed to a gases to the grocery store to buy some food and some campfire stuff because we've got a little campfire planned if it doesn't rain tonight and then 
Um, we're headed to the visitor center. They have a little media basket for me prepared, so I'm excited to see what's in there. And then we're gonna go and check in at our next accommodation, which is um, the carriage house on Harrison Lake. I'm out of breath. Your girl is not fit. No. Whew. All right, I will see you guys probably back in the car when we're on the way to the grocery store. We just arrived at our second accommodation, which is the lodge um, on Harrison Lake. So this is the lake. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do a little tour. This place is stunning. We have an extra bedroom. So this is one of the bedrooms and it all looks out to this stunning lake. Really pretty, this place. Okay, and I think this is the master bedroom. They made us a little towel swan, always cute. We got a little soaker tub in here. And look at the view. Wow. This is all around, like here. Let me go back to the door so you can get the full feeling of this insane and then coming out of the master bedroom we have the washrooms I assume so we've got a toilet here the shower the sink and then going upstairs cool there's like a little ooh, a little drinking thing here <gasps> wow was not expecting it to look like this. Wow. Okay, so we've got a full kitchen, microwave, um, fridge, stove. That boy came with the house. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. Comes with the seating area. And then they've even put up a Christmas tree. And then we have a little barbecue too. And then you just have this gorgeous view of Harrison Lake. Pretty insane. Wow. That is really nice. All right, we are going to grab some lunch now. We went to, um, well, we just unpacked a little bit, kind of. <laughs> and I made myself hot chocolate and enjoyed that. So we ordered some pho for lunch because a lot of the restaurants are actually closed at this time. I think most of them open around dinner time. So, yeah, I guess Tuesday is not a popular day for them. But um, we did order some pho and it had really good reviews. So I'm excited to have some pho. We're supposed to be able to have a campfire at some point, but I just don't know where it would be. I'm guessing down there or something, we'll see. This is the place where we got our food. Thanks, babe. how peaceful it is outside. Literally all you can hear are like the water rippling and the birds. Like this is nice. And is exactly what I needed. I should have brought, actually I could just bring one of the chairs out so I can sit here and read. It's a little bit cold, but honestly worth it just so I can hear like this sound and be in this environment. Um, obviously indoors is very warm and very nice, but like, come on.
We're looking for the beach that we're supposed to have our little campfire at. I'm trying not to die, but I don't know where it would be. All right, so we found the beach. It's labeled really well. So thank you to the owners of this place for setting it up so. Look how pretty this is, this little area. Wow. There's like a little seating area here and there. That's peaceful. And then I guess down here is where the fire pits would be. There's a little dock here, super pretty. Oh yeah, here we go, fire pit. Great. I guess, should we just come back later? Should we do it now? The reality of <laughs> this situation is just Joel carrying the firewood. You can't really see him, but here's Joel chopping some wood. I'm literally using my iPhone to like light the area because it's getting pretty dark. I mean, I can still definitely see, but for the camera, it's a bit difficult. But this is our little fire pit. What are you doing? Putting this one up. How come? It's kind of like, like a big chunk. How come? It's just harder to light. breakfast or brunch I guess this was at like 11 but we went to Harrison's Corner Cafe um, it was quite yummy so if you're in Harrison Harrison Hot Springs area or Harrison by Harrison Lake you should check them out it's quite a cute little breakfast spot we are now hiking this little trail huh Yeah, but they did all, like, I feel like all the places we went had contact tracing. Yeah, the first place did too. I filled out a form. So, yeah, because of COVID, everybody's doing this contact tracing sign-in situation, which I think is pretty smart. I feel like the, the restaurants in Vancouver... Yeah, the QR code. Yeah, the, the restaurants in Vancouver aren't even doing that, are they? I don't know. Yeah, I haven't, like, neither of us has been in... Been to a restaurant in a while. We haven't been out in a restaurant for a while, so um, I don't know what the situation in Vancouver is, but yeah, they do like little sign in forms here for contact tracing. So, anyways, back to my first point. We are on this little trail called the Spirit Trail out here and just taking a little walk before we head off to our next destination, which is in Abbotsford. So, we are headed to a cider tasting. Spirit Trail. What? This way. Okay. No. That way. We're headed to a little cider test, cider tasting place called Taves, and then a um a uh, winery as well. So we just thought we would explore the area around Harrison a little bit more before we headed off uh, back in the direction of home. Abbotsford is about like an hour drive or 50 minute drive away from here so um yeah we're gonna be leaving Harrison in a short while so something cool about this trail is that this artist who I guess lives in the area or just likes to come here a lot um carved these like clay masks that he like I don't know what he glued them to the tree let me show you guys so these are on a lot of the trees. There were more of them when we first came in here. And some of them are just like of normal faces of like grandmas and whatnot. And then some of them look kind of scary. So, um, yeah, I wonder if they like represent some spirits in here, you know? It's 
see. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's one there. There's also one here. Like, I'm not sure what that is. I guess so it's like the tree's face. There's this little lady here. So yeah, this is the little trail that we're on here. It's just a little loop. I think it's about like a kilometer long. It's not that bad, but it is very foresty, that's for sure. It's not like a super well-groomed trail. Um, it's just cool, got my hiking boots on. Yeah, this is what we're going to be doing for a little while. I will probably just check in with you guys later because my hands are getting really cold. <laughs> All right. I'm a maker of gooseberries then. It was mm -hmm. my first agricultural business that I started. And then we still grow gooseberries today. any food for you unfortunately. Hi. That's French skin. French skin. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, where's yeah. the food? <laughs> Give me the food, woman. Oh, you are so precious. Is there something on my hand? It's not food, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's actually one of the um, things we, we have. You probably saw those in there with these little bags of food. Yeah. They sell them for two bucks and people can, your goat is your friend for life you can feed them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Triplets is like, oh my goodness. Quadruples is just like through the moon. Like, oh my goodness. And they all survive, which is great. Even for triplets, quite often. There's nothing in there, I promise. Oh, you know, goats eat everything, by the way. Oh. They're, not, they're not carnivores, <laughs> but they'll eat material, right? Great. Bags. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. It's language. not that yummy. <laughs> <laughs> they're just so friendly and curious. <laughs> 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 Good for winter. Okay, so we're heading to this pumpkin patch so I can take a photo of this adorable little pumpkin house. But uh, you guys saw the goats. We pet some goats. It was really cute. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I usually don't like anything with alcohol content in it, but their cider is really, really good. Like, I would drink it and probably get really drunk by accident. <laughs> so, dessert wines? Oh, I Think of course, it's like sweeter. an ice wine, yeah. right? That kind of idea. They're always sweeter, but it really depends on the beer. So we just arrived at the Brookside Boutique Hotel, which is the last accommodation of our three night, four day adventure. Well, I guess not technically just three day because tomorrow we're heading home. But um, get out of my car. It's really cute. It's like nestled in like a neighborhood here in Abbotsford. So yeah, let me show you guys what it looks like. This this is what it looks like. It says Brook it, Brookside Inn Boutique Hotel. And then if you see here, we're like literally in this lovely neighborhood here. And it's just this like huge house on the corner. So I'm excited to go inside and see what it looks like. But I need to get my luggage first. Monos luggage. Did I do a review on this? I don't remember, but this is my luggage time it's either usually this or my Herschel but this is what it is okay so we are inside I wanted to show you guys 
This is Tiffany's breakfast room. So this is where breakfast will be. Super, super pretty. And they have just like little Audrey's everywhere. It's so gorgeous. There's a little room here, but I wanted to show you guys our room. This is a secret garden room. And so this is our little mini fridge. We've got a super cozy little living space here. So they decorate each room based on the movie. So this is, oh, they even have a little like garden there. And all this, they've got a little TV. And then in here is the bedroom. So it's just, it's so cozy, it's so lovely. I love that it is themed. And I'm guessing this is a little closet space if we were staying for longer. Yeah. I honestly didn't do much research um, into any of these like places that we got booked in for, but it's kind of just like a nice, pleasant surprise when you don't know. And yeah, this place is just very, very, very um, like quaint and so cozy. It feels like a little, like a little home. Hey, homie. All right, we need to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Um, Chris from Brookside Inn uh, recommended Brick Alley, which is out in Langley. So we could either go to there, or there, he said that there was another restaurant that is quite popular in Abbotsford. So I'm gonna probably look at the menu with Joel and see what he wants to do. Oh, another really cute thing actually, before I forget, is that, so like I said, each room is named after a movie. So they actually have the movie that the rooms are named after um, available. So they have a DVD player, which like, this room really brings me back to, I feel like my childhood. But uh, yeah, so they have two versions of The Secret Garden. So maybe we'll watch that tonight just to really get into that, that mood. Oh, and they have some amazing little coloring books with pencils. I think that's so fun. And then she, he said that there were some fruits in here for us. Ah, This is Brookside Chocolate, which is named very appropriately because this place is the Brookside Inn. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna munch on that. All right, we're having a wholesome little dinner. Um, we ordered from this local restaurant here in Abbotsford called Brodeur Bistro. Let me go wash my hands. So they actually got really good, really good reviews. So I'm excited to try. I did order a pretty decent amount of food. So we got, I got jambalaya, soup, and mac and cheese, and then Joel got ribs and fries. Oh, that's quite an innovative feeder. Thank you. We're having breakfast now, but look how amazing this looks. It's got an avocado there with a poached egg and some bacon. And then we've got some chowry raspberry jam. Ooh, this looks so good.
All right, we are leaving Brookside now. This place was really, really cute and cozy, but it's time to head home.